So I wanted to look at one of those things that drives us nuts, which is when we miss a yarn over. Particularly if we've got hundreds of stitches on the needle, there's no need to rip out. You can drop down and pop in an extra yarn over. You can even do that if you've missed an SSK or a knit two together. So here I am going along row eight and I see, uh-oh, you can see there's yarn overs on either side of that center twisted knit stitch. There's one yarn over. That was done in row six, but oh, there was supposed to be a yarn over right there, two rows down. Also, right there, that was supposed to be an SSK. So no need to rip out all of row seven and rip out half of row six. We'll just put it in now. So the first thing we're going to do is get to the place where the yarn over was supposed to be. So there's the yarn over that I do have. Yay. So this is going to be the new yarn over for row eight. Make my twisted knit stitch. But now, right there, there was supposed to be a yarn over. So what I need to do is make it. So if we take a look at those running threads, right there, this was the running thread from row seven. But row six, that's where the yarn over was supposed to be, right there. So what I can do is grab a crochet hook. You can also do this with your needle tip, whichever's easier for you. You can take your needle tip and go under both of the running threads. And you can kind of wiggle and jiggle them a bit. So there is row six, where the yarn over was supposed to be. The second running thread is row seven where that yarn over had been worked. Lift row seven running thread over row six and voila, there's my missing yarn over. So now I can go ahead and do the yarn over for this row and it's gonna feel really tight, but don't worry. Ah, now it's loosened up again. I can knit that yarn over and work my way across to my next problem which is my missing SSK. So I've fixed problem number one, I've got my yarn overs, but here's my missing SSK. So right there, I have one, two, three stitches, but really I'm only supposed to have an SSK, a single stitch, and a knit two together. So that means I need to drop both of these stitches off the needle. So these two stitches, were the stitches that were worked for row seven. And these two stitches were row six, which should have been my SSK. But I don't want to grab those two together and ladder them up because actually in an SSK, these stitches were separate for row five and then they come together for row six. So the SSK is what didn't happen. So an SSK slants to the left, which means I need to get that crochet hook in, and it might be a little futsy. So there's no style points here. You can grab it with your hand. I need to get my crochet hook into stitch one, and then I have to get my crochet hook into stitch two. Now you can see that slants to the left because column number one is on top of column number two, and that's what makes it slant to the left. So if you were doing a knit two together, you would put your crochet hook into column number two first, and then column number one. Now, I create my missing SSK. So there it is. And that's the row after the SSK. and I pop it on my needle, and there it is, I've restored it. So no need to rip out giant rows, just drop down and fix.